Good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Unique and we are going to be doing a day in my life vlog. I did not shoot a weekly vlog for you all this week because my three nieces have been visiting from out of town and so I have been a household of six this week and so you know that took some adjusting, some getting used to but I figured this would be a good opportunity to show you my day in the life, answer some of the questions that I do get from you all over on Instagram just about how I manage and juggle everything you know I'm not working full-time anymore but I do have my full-time content creation business now so just seeing how I'm able to still get everything done still take care of me and take care of my household I've already done my morning routine I will link a video with an example of my morning routine for you up in the cards and down in the description box just so that you can see everything that my morning usually entails so I've already done that and now I am getting some work done while the kids are still sleeping. At this point, out of the five children that I have in my house right now, only two are awake, the oldest and the youngest. So they're having some me time right now before they start their checklist. I did promise you in last week's vlog that we will talk about how I made that checklist in Canva. So I'll go ahead and roll that footage for you now while I finish editing this video. I am opening up the Canva app on my iPad, but you can also go to Canva in your web browser. And I'm going to be using a template for a planner. So I like this template, but I'm using this styling from the other template that you just saw. And I'm also going to use the water tracker from this template because I am making life easy, right? I'm, I'm here for the aesthetics, but we're gonna make it quick. So I'm copying and pasting the water tracker over to the daily checklist that I am creating. And then from there, I'm just gonna copy this wording because I like the way that it looks <laughs> and paste that over into the checklist. And you just wanna go through and create a list of everything that you want your children to do. Like I said, I am going to be writing down the list of things that I need them to do before they can have a tech time. So what I have on my checklist is going to look a little different to yours. And I do include activities on here that they should do together, as well as, you know, have their own little me time without a screen. So just decide what's important for you. Set your little reminder on the bottom so that they know no, sweetie, you cannot have your iPad or touch that TV remote until all of this stuff is checked off. And there you go, sis. Print it as a PDF and good luck. Okay, so this is what the checklist looks like. It is printed out. Obviously, they have been using it and I have boys. So <laughs> this is what it looks like. You can see, I just went and grabbed it just to show you. You can see, like I said, my oldest son is currently awake. Everyone is still sleeping and he has already marked off his two cups of water for the day. This is just like a sheet protector that I put it in and they use dry erase markers um, in order to fill it out. This has been my saving grace. I've been doing this for the past like mm, he's 11. I think I started when he was about five so we've been doing it since he's been about five. Um, You know that's when <laughs> I had him and then my youngest was a toddler and so it was a lot happening. <laughs> at one time and so it really just helps keep some kind of structure or schedule. I am naturally a free spirit however I have learned the hard way that that doesn't work for my children at least. It does not work for my children um, and not for me <laughs> either. Everything that I'm trying to get done and juggle I really did need to have some kind of structure or schedule. Something there they know this is what you need to do while mommy is busy okay and you don't have to keep coming to me asking me for tech time or a snack or whatever else it is because you already know what the standards are go do your checklist. So what I'll do, um, I'll try and figure out a way where I can share the template from Canva down in the description box for you. And that way, you know, if you just want a jumping point, this is really easy to make. You saw how easy it was for me to customize in Canva as well. But now that we've talked about that, don't look at this office girl as I walk out of here, okay? <laughs> Now that we have talked about that, it is time for me to make these people 
some breakfast. We are going to be going to the pool today. So I need to go ahead, make breakfast, wake everybody up, let them eat, hang out for a little bit, and then we're going to go down to the pool, burn as much energy as possible, <laughs> okay? And then um, I'm gonna have to wash my oh. niece's hair. There's a, you hear there's a child, okay? So actually, Trey, okay, I'm about to make, um, I'm about to make the pancakes and stuff. Go ahead and knock out some of the things on your checklist, like your dishwasher and all of that good stuff while I make breakfast, okay? Yeah. My youngest niece, we're gonna have to wash her hair after the pool. And my head desperately needs washing, uh, desperately. So let me make these pancakes and these eggs, sis, for these kids so we can get our day started. Well, their day started, because my day been started, okay? Somebody wants to tell y'all hi. Hi, uh, it's me, Trey. <laughs> what are you working on right now, you Trey? Um, I I just finished the dishwasher. Activity with mom. Oh, well, we're gonna go swimming, so we'll do that later when we go swimming together. What's something else you can do? Daily chore. You just did that, silly. Besides the dishwasher, don't oh, okay. have something else. What's today? Friday? Yes. Okay, can you make Wait! Today's Friday! Yes. <laughs> Friday is an off day. <laughs> but we're we're on today because we've been off since your niece your cousins have been here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So can you go ahead and do your devotional and stuff, please? It has been a couple hours. We are back from the pool. The house is in utter chaos. <laughs> we still have to clean up and all of that jazz, but we went and got pizza from one of our favorite spots. You wanna say hello? If you like New York style pizza in Atlanta, highly recommend Perros. Very good, what say you? Is it good? We're going to eat our pizza, clean up. We have lots of hair for wash and do. And then I will catch y'all during all of that jazz so that you can see me clean up this hot mess of a kitchen. When I show you this kitchen, just know that this literally was just from two meals plus snacks today. Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is what I guess a family of seven looks like. Oh my gosh. Let's get to it.
now it's time to play kitchen hairdresser. See, <laughs> my niece is over here. We're about to wash her hair. Um, I am just using shampoo and conditioner. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I keep in the kids' Mommy, bathroom. Yes. Trey, how many minutes do you have left? Ten. Come on. Knock out your ten minutes. He's on. He's doing his ride. Um, I want to say it's a Pantene shampoo and conditioner. I want to say it's a Pantene shampoo and conditioner. I could be wrong. I honestly don't remember. But then I'm going to go in with the Yoshio Scalp Revive. This is for her scalp. You know, we did just come out of the pool. And then to moisturize her hair, I'm going to be using the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. I love this thing. It's so good at moisturizing your hair as a leave-in conditioner. And then to seal it all in, because I do still believe in sealing in your hair. <laughs> I'm going to be going in with the Melanin Elongating Style Cream. I can't even remember what it's called. Twist Elongating Style Cream. I obviously love this thing. It's almost done. But it is phenomenal at keeping your hair moisturized. So... We're going to go tackle her hair, then we got to tackle my hair, but I'm going to wait to get myself together until I put everybody to bed. Okay, so let's knock this hair out. The best way to tackle this is going to be to leave it in the braids, the braids that my sister did. So I'll wash her scalp, and then we'll undo each braid individually to wash them. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I just finished washing my hair. Everybody is settled. And um, I just wanted to pop in because it is time to do my skincare and all of that great stuff. And I am tired. I am tired. However, I did just want to have a conversation about like balancing it all and what that looks like for me. Um, and then just like the realities of what that means, right? as I put on my lash serum because <laughs> your girl is out here trying to get her natural lashes to look like something so I don't have to walk around looking bald in the eye every time. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this on because it needs 90 seconds to dry before I can move on to the rest of my skincare. There's this book that I like to read. It's called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olsten, I believe. I'll make sure to link it down in the description box. It's really good at putting into perspective, taking the necessary steps towards the goal or the plan that you have for your life. And I try and read it at least once a year. I did not read it this year, which makes sense because this year, um, you, you know this already if you watched my last vlogs, that this last job that I had was the worst. <laughs> and so I failed, like I utterly failed at really um, keeping up with my self-care and pouring into me and taking the necessary steps. I took some of the steps, but I could have done so much more, but I allowed 
the job to become an excuse for me not doing everything that I needed, especially self-care wise, as like drinking my water. And I feel like it's this myth of like staying the same or being stagnant. And the, the book really breaks this down. There is no such thing as like staying the same. It's either we're pressing forwards, actively pressing with intention towards our goals, or we're drifting away and being impacted negatively, right? And that's in any aspect. Even in your relationships, there's no, we're staying the same at this level. Either we are working actively to keep a bond or we're slowly drifting apart. You know how you see those couples that like been married 25 years and then they get divorced because they just drifted apart. They don't know who the person is anymore. It's because they weren't actively working on that relationship. Time is not waiting on nobody, <laughs> nobody at all. Uh, it's Time is constantly moving. And so either we can take advantage of the time by actively working on something and rest is actively working on something, okay? Caring for yourself is actively working on something. <sighs> and you know, this is me pressing towards my goals in every aspect of life because I am a Libra. We do like balance. <laughs> and being in a position now where I do have the time and the capacity to, you know, be a little bit more flexible in my schedule to make sure that I am hitting all of the goals, right? Like I am touching, at least I try to touch every aspect of my life every day or as often as possible. So I did my I did my business stuff, posted my videos, edited, filled my kids category, you know, we handled chores and responsibilities, made sure they did some kind of educational activity today, and then we went to the pool and we had fun. Some good clean turn up with the children, right? I poured into myself spiritually and now here I am getting ready for the night. And just for a skincare update, since we're here, I did add tretinoin to my nighttime skincare routine. So I've I've advanced from Differin. So I have been doing that because again, time is going by. It's not waiting for anybody. And if I'm trying to make sure that I stay tried and true to black don't crack, <laughs> I'm gonna give my skin what it needs in order to do so. I want you to take that perspective when you're thinking about how to juggle it all. It's like first you need to decide what areas or what buckets in life you need to fill and then what actions or activities do you need to take part in on a daily, weekly, monthly basis in order to fill that bucket to a point where you feel like you are actively working towards that goal. So I did make myself a cup of tea. I'm gonna go read for a little bit. I have been reading just for enjoyment. So I'm gonna read, let me know what you're reading right now for enjoyment. Like, yes, I'm all about productivity and self-motivation, whatever. But right now I'm reading for pleasure. Um, so I'm gonna go read. I'm gonna go spend some time with my husband and fill that bucket too, sis. That one's important as well. And like this video if you like it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're reading. Or, you know, let's keep this conversation going. Subscribe if you have made it this far and have not yet. Welcome to the family, sis. Go ahead and join us. And I will see you in the next one. Good night.